VTuber debuts are important, but not in the way that everyone expects it to be. Don't you think it's kind of weird how so many of these VTubers will have these big successful debuts, but then after the debut hype has died down, their view count on Twitch or YouTube drastically drops? It makes you start to question, well, why did I put all this money and time and effort into something for my debut to flop? And you see... This is where so many VTubers get this whole debut culture wrong. Debuting your VTuber model is something that I believe to be its own separate nuanced thing and there are a lot of things that you can do to be successful. Which is why I made a video about it two years ago. But over the past couple of years, I have seen the bar for VTuber debuts rise tremendously and the stakes to have a successful VTuber debut requires so much more money to be spent and a lot of time sunk into it in order for it to be successful which is crazy to think about because you're putting all of this time and effort and money into one stream that usually lasts about 30 minutes to maybe an hour at most and i think because of this we have created a certain type of mindset and expectations with debuts because lately i've been feeling like vtuber debuts have evolved into its own culture there are so many different levels of vtuber debuts and when you count them all together there seems to be a lot of misconceptions on what a VTuber debut actually stands for. I've seen a lot of VTubers do constant debuts and re-debuts to keep up with this hype or relevancy, and I want you to pay close attention to that because that's a key word that's going to be discussed again later on in this video. You know, back in the day, VTuber debuts were standardized when Hololive EN came out, and the reason why I say it was standardized is because everyone started copying exactly what Hololive did for their debuts. I'm talking about the feet first model reveal, PowerPoint slides, and then a song to wrap everything up. I think Hololive did an amazing job at setting the bar to showcase the charm and personality with their talents with just these three elements alone and it blew away everyone's expectations. This is the first level of VTuber debuts and a lot of VTubers even to this day still think that this is what it means to debut as a VTuber. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that but let's think about that for a second. If VTubers are no different than any other entertainer, the difference between us is that we're virtual entertainers then I want you to ask yourself this. Do you really need to have a slideshow? Do you really need to have a song cover? Do you really need to do everything the Hololive does in order to have a successful VTuber debut? Is it really entertaining to look at a slideshow full of credits? Now, I know that during Hololive specifically, they included things like their hobbies, their likes, dislikes, what games they're gonna be playing, their goals and all that kind of stuff. But I have noticed that a lot of VTubers spend a long time going over all their credits during their debut stream. And I want you to think about something for a minute. How many people that are not VTubers themselves actually care about the credits of who made your model? You'll come to realize that not a lot of people care about that all that much. Now that's a hard take, Mari, be careful. Okay, so what do you do about your credits? Well, if you aren't in a company where their policy makes you have to have a credit slide during your debut or whatever, then you can put all of your credits in your video description, Twitch panels, or I don't know, have your own website or wiki page that lists them. Or at the very end of your video, you can just list your credits. Think about how I have my Patreon and YouTube member credits up on my videos sometimes. You can do something along a similar vein for either a live stream or your other videos too. The point of the matter is that you do not need to take 10 minutes of your time, especially during your big debut, to be listing off and thanking each individual person who made X, Y, and Z asset because as nice as it is to give these people a shout out, you lose the viewer's retention. And remember, your viewers are your core audience. These are the people who you're trying to win over. These are the people who will give you money and show up every single time during your live stream. A lot of them most likely get bored during those parts of the stream and there is a reason for that. It's because credits do not tell the viewer anything about you as a person, AKA it does nothing to enhance your persona and it does not give that person any reason to stay and continue watching you. You have to remember that people have short attention spans and I know no one will tell you that and I know no, people will get angry at me for saying that because yes, artists should be credited for working hard, making your entire career. Absolutely. I'm not saying to not credit them. However, you do not need to spend that much time talking about them. Just list them under every video or any asset that you're using in that video or have a link to a dedicated website with all your resources and that's good enough. 
because the people who actually do care about that stuff people like me and other creators who want to commission these people we will go look for that information now the second level that leads to this big misconception is the production pipeline of vtuber debuts you ever wonder why corporate vtubers have it so much better than indie vtubers when it comes to their debuts it has to do with the production pipeline basically they have more resources and money to hire people to assist them with their debuts I'm talking about expensive animations, lore videos, full-blown original songs that can be released the same day of their debut. As an indie, you will have to do a lot of things by yourself if you can't afford to pay for those types of people to do that same type of work. But honestly, how much of that stuff is actually important for your debut to be a success anyways? I find it weird how so many VTubers think that they have to sing and release an original song and then they like i don't know never sing again besides the occasional karaoke stream what about the lore videos they are really cool to have if you can afford it and it's especially fun to do as a little fun treat for your community but these kinds of things don't have to be displayed on your debut it could very easily be milestone celebrations now of course you're all welcome to do these things still if you want to it's not like you're wrong or a bad vtuber for wanting to do these things but the problem is when VTubers bank on all these little trinkets and novelty items to be the reason why somebody decides to stick around after their debut stream. I mean, think about it. You do all these fancy bells and whistles, and then the next day you're playing LEGO Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know why I keep defaulting to LEGO Fortnite, but I just think that game is just really fun and like it's funny and I enjoy playing it but but think about that you have this fancy super cool anime lore video this amazing original song these outstanding animations and artwork to show off like cool what else what else do you have to offer besides showing off to the viewer think about the viewer for a second there is a real person who is watching you during your debut what does all this fancy stuff tell them about you and what you're going to be doing as a content creator? If you can't answer that with an honest answer, then, well, I hope everything I've been saying in this video so far is starting to turn some gears for you. Because all these fancy things do not tell the viewer what they can expect from you as a content creator. Unless if you're going to be producing song covers regularly or you're going to be producing animations regularly, is that the content you're going to be releasing on a weekly, daily, monthly basis. Unless if you are very rich or in a company that's very rich and can afford all of that, the chances are no. You can list a schedule at the end of your debut stream to tell them what you're going to be doing for the week but the thing is that's just for one week listen to this how would you feel knowing that what you chose to display for that specific week is the actual reason why people choose not to watch you after oh i see that mari has a lot of collabs after her debut she's probably gonna be making content with other people most of the time oh i see mari has a bunch of fpf games and then minecraft she's probably just gonna be an fps vtuber oh i see mari has an asmr stream listed she's probably gonna be an asmr girlfriend experience kind of vtuber when you tell people what kind of content you're going to be making for that week that's going to give many of those people watching you a certain expectation that this will be the type of content you're always going to do. So if you want to do variety or change anything for the next week, then the viewers are not going to know that because during your entire debut stream, you did nothing to give them any indication on what it is you're going to actually do and provide to them as a VTuber. Hey, remember when I mentioned relevancy earlier in this video? Well, that is the biggest issue with VTuber debut culture because there are so many VTubers who truly believe the only way they can stay relevant is by constantly debuting new models, new outfits, new this and new that. And well, this just makes me really sad because you have so much more to offer somebody besides just showing them that fancy new toggle you bought. You're an entertainer, an educator, or a comfort streamer. You matter to someone. You have value. That is what you should be focusing on. That is how you stay relevant. At the end of the day, making content that genuinely provides value to your target audience is what's going to make you stay relevant. VTuber debuts exist for one purpose and this purpose only. Attention. The truth about VTuber debuts is that they are amazing marketing and promotional material. I believe that debuts and redebuts should either be a business investment that you're making to help increase your brand awareness as a virtual content creator, or it's a fun little treat for your community because you hit a certain milestone or goal that you all worked hard to achieve together. 
debuts should not be this arbitrary pedestal where this is like your make it or break it point. This should be something fun for you to enjoy or at the very least a smart business investment depending on how extravagant you want to go with it. I don't think that VTuber debuts are a bad thing and I don't think doing all these other things that I listed earlier is a bad thing. But I do believe that there are these unrealistic expectations with it and so many content creators are putting a lot of unnecessary stress onto themselves to have this amazing debut without learning the true principles of what makes someone a successful content creator. I know a lot of YouTubers, including some of my own friends, who will focus so much on their debut and then they associate their view count with how good of a content creator they are because everyone thinks bigger number equals better, right? But the reality of maintaining relevancy and continuously growing as a VTuber or any content creator for that matter is attention and retention. VTuber debuts are just the first step at gaining that attention, but it does not necessarily keep retention. If you wanna learn more about keeping retention, which is the second part of maintaining your relevancy as a VTuber, then let me know. Ask some questions about it and maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. I hope this video could shift your perspective on VTuber debuts because I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it and so much stress going on about it. I even saw Static Tokyo's video on it and wanted to share my own thoughts and opinions on this subject matter since, well, I'm currently planning a whole rebrand with my channel and yes, that means I will be debuting a new VTuber model. So stick around to see what I have cooking up in here. Thanks for watching everyone and remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye! Maybe I start dunking on VTuber logos next. Shh! Spoilers!